Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday. This is the week, I talked about this week in a couple of introductions ago. This has some weird energy. I know all the planets are direct, and so things are going forward, but we have some weird dates and, and anniversaries and energies on this week. So not sure where that's going to lead us, not sure what's going to be happening, but the 14th, I believe that there's some asteroid, um, you know, asteroid meteorite showers going on. The 15th is the Ides of March. It is the middle of a month. That's what the Ides usually means, but that goes back to beware the Ides of month of March. Then we have the 16th Purim energy, 16th through the 17th, where there's both a threat but yet a celebration. Then we have the 17th, which is um, celebrated as St. Patrick's Day, which is again a threat and a celebration. Then we come up to the 18th, which is not in here, but the 18th at 3.17 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, we have our full moon in Virgo. So there's a lot of weird kind of anniversary type of uh, um, energies going on, and it just feels, I do get that, the threat celebration. Threat celebration, we will see what we will see. But it felt like it was one of those big weeks. We will see. Anyway, and I talked about that, I think maybe three, three, four introductions ago. Okay, so you know that I'm going to use for the main readings. And this is the introduction that will be tagged on to all of the readings. I do put the uh, timestamp in the um, description so you can bypass this, but I hope you watch it at least once. Anyway, I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I'll pull one from my Guardian Angel cards because they're very kind and gentle. I'll also pull, and sometimes we need a little kindness and gentleness to get us through. I will pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. For this, the introduction, just to kind of see what universal energies, I will use my, actually I'm going to use my uh, traditional weight rider tarot, and then I'm going to pull maybe one, we'll see, from my OSHA Zen tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? I'm an intuitive um, channeler. I open myself to higher power, to my higher power, and I ask that whatever comes through be um, what you need to hear or what needs to be said. And I try not to get in the way because, you know, when I start to try, oh, what does this actually mean? If I'm not given it, I can, I can take you all different places. So let's see what we have here. Anything that is reversed has stronger energy. I will talk about if we get a lot of, um, you know, if we get the court cards, I'll talk a little bit about them. If we get, a, if we get the, um, well, we will be getting the, um, you know, the, the rods, the pentacles, the swords, the cups, and I'll talk about them also. So let's see. This is an overview, again, what's going on in the world as we lead up to that full moon. And remember, the full moon is that time that, you know, we, re we release what's holding us back, we relinquish what we don't need anymore, and request the good stuff. New moon to full moon, as it's getting bigger, it is waxing. Ask, ask, ask. Full moon to new moon, as it gets smaller, it's waning. Get rid of, get rid of. The full moon is that time to release, relinquish, and request. It's a time to, I mean, it can also be a very good time to recharge. And now it will be in Virgo. Virgo is an earth energy. And we, you know, it, it's really going to kind of bring things back to earth for us. It's going to make things real. I do feel like uh, Virgo does have a lot of grounding energy. But Virgo is extremely spiritual. Um, you know, you need to think of the, you know, Virgo up there that, you know, that is the virgin. That is the one that likes to see things cleansed and likes to see um, really, or likes to be the, um, and then, you know, what do we want to say? You know, she wants to do what purity and holiness brings of her. Don't know why I had to say that. Like I said, um, I let higher power take over with this. Okay, let's see what our first card is. All right, so now we have that card, that lovely, lovely card, the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is that card that people will say, can we put that away? 
and you know kind of take that out of the deck so swords energy is our air energy it is our aquarius our gemini our libra our thought processes and you know it's also hearing news um it's also i'm kind of getting this it's how we process a lot of information process a lot of the things that we are going through also but it's also making plans three has a lot of energy to it where it's you do something say something three times it's really very powerful especially around this uh full moon uh it's also a you know it's also celebratory it's also very creative now the three of swords it's an interesting energy here you can see that the clouds you know there are clouds great clouds in the background they are raining it you know possibly thundering possibly very very strong eruptive type of energy here and then we have the this heart this heart that's very clearly red this very you know very clearly um you know just i i don't want it's not it's not necessarily shattered though it does have these three swords piercing it the thing about this i always get this is something that can be an alarming energy can be some hearing news hearing like oh my gosh we don't love this like this um this can be a very hurtful energy very you know harmful no i shouldn't say harmful but it's also an energy that we are need we need to go through and then let it become part of that past many of my cards will tell you release it release release if you look at the three of swords you'll notice something and this was something that was pointed out is that there this is not a gory heart <laughs> this is not something that you know you don't see blood dripping you don't see you know i don't want to gross anyone out this is pretty intact so these are things that we've been living with these are things that we've been going through so and that so that means that there has you know i don't know that we're going to take those swords out because we're always going to have to live with it live with the experiences but this is again letting it go now, I, I hate that term letting go for this but it is moving on moving on and you know passing passing the um the baton i almost get to it's kind of like hey these are things that happen i'm not bringing it into my present okay so let's see what we've got here here we go so that was reversed now we have the rods or the wands this is air um this is aries this is leo sagittarius it's fire energy passionate burning very determined and it's basically saying so this could be a hurt that has been recent or it could be a current hurt it does mean that you know this does feel like we are getting past it or we are have to get stand far, stand firm through this so this is a 9 9 is and again derivative of a or you know of 3 so you have that 3 three threes there but 9s is um you know basically it's saying you've got everything you need just you know just deal with it let's wrap this up the 9 of you know the 9 of rods is you know you might be battered you might be beaten or you might feel beaten stand firm stand firm more to come don't give up type of energy this is this is kind of interesting with this uh this week um stand firm and i am you know if you look at those rods there is hope in them there is growth coming from this so you do grow from the situation i know but many times it's like i don't really want to grow from the situation i want the situation gone all right our last card here is and this is quite lovely this is the ten of pentacles this is a lovely energy here pentacles is our earth energy it is our money our job our career our home energy this is capricorn it is also and remember pluto there's some pluto and there's pluto and capricorn there's other things with capricorn going on this is capricorn it is also taurus it is also virgo virgo so it could mean that something around that virgo moon kind of breaks free you know there is this has abundance this has money coming in this has a happy home this has you know um not worrying about that money energy at all you know there's good relationships the dogs are fed everyone looks happy everyone looks fed so there is you know it's kind of a yeah there, there this is a pain this is kind of a pain in the butt type of energy this is a oh my goodness where am i going with all of this here we have stand firm keep firm do not give up do not at all stay shining because there is more there is a positive energy that's going to be coming and 
this, you know, these people, there's, you know, you have your dogs, you have your couple, you have your child, you have your elderly, you have multi-generational energy here, and this could be right around that um, full moon. Again, that's 317 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a, it's an interesting mix. I'll let you um, kind of let me, you know, let me know what you think about all of this. Let's see what Osha Zen Tarot cards have to say. A lot of times I say these are more of advice cards. So let's see. I feel like I need to pull three. Normally I just pull the one, but I feel like we need three. Now the one card, the one energy I did not discuss was cups. Cups is our water energy. It is fluid, emotional. It is also our Pisces, which we are in. We're ending it, but we are still in Pisces. It's Cancer and it is Scorpio. So that is our cups, um, our fluid, our emotional. That's Raphael, I think, in the decks that I'm going to be using. And um, it just it's just something that just, you know, continues. It's very emotional. Anyway, let's go. I've said that a couple of times. Let's go on and do three cards. Let's see. This card. Ah, so now we have a six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies we put on, you know, that we have put out and what we have created. The burden, the burden. And, you know, I kind of, you know, it, this is this is an interesting too. All of these are, this is all very interesting because here we have financial, there's a financial tape being taken care of and freedom and very good energies here. But then we start off again with the burden, the burden. Um, you know, this person definitely looks like she could have um, hired a horse or uh, or some sort of, you know, something to carry her through, but she, you know, but she's basically um, on the backs. This, it, this just feels like it's so heavy. The burden is so heavy, and it's not justified at the same time. You know, it's kind of, and, and here this person is also saying, Further, we have to go further. I more, I want more out of you. I expect more out of you. So this has the, you know, and it's interesting that it's on here. Okay, next card. Oh, and tens, tens are transition. Tens are transitional energy. It has a one zero. One is new beginning. Zero is God source, um, higher power energy. Now, so we have the burden. Courage. So here we have again, this is an eight. Eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. You know, we have stand strong, stand firm. We have courage. We have courage here. So, you know, again, this is one that's calling us to stand strong and to have courage. Let's see what this card says. Uh -huh. <laughs> seven, seven. Okay, seven is divine energy. It is also a divine umbrella. It has divine interfe intervention, but it can also have divine interference. And now we have politics. A lot of things going on. We have the snake. We have the, the evil energy with the mask of, that looks so happy and so fine. So it's kind of like, you know, beware of politics. You know, it's, it's just a very interesting uh, thing for this week. And, you know, but again, it tells us to have courage. It tells us to stand strong. There is a very good thing happening, good possibilities happening, good energies happening. We are, there is a burden. The burden, again, the three of swords is kind of saying, yes, but we have to either put that burden down. We have to, you know, we have to get through that burden at the same time. And then we come to politics. Politics where there's the snake, there's the, you know, you know the two-faced person. I'll let you read into that one also. You know, I can, uh, interesting. We need to be, very, you know, we need to stay, we need to stay in our integrity. We need to stay in our light. We, you know, and I've always, I've been telling you, you know, everyone who, you know, watches, you know that we are the light workers. We are the counterbalance to the dark air energies, the darkness, and we need to continue being courageous we need to continue to stand, you know, to stand firm, okay? Okay, there is a reward coming. I do love that energy, We, but at the same time, we have a burden. We have politics, politics, burden, be, stay courageous. 
let that your flower shine and let you know and let your shi- your let your light shine that's why i always end with saying stay shining because that is some, even even when we don't feel like it you know we need to at least try to put that out okay okay Anyway, I, again, you know, I didn't say this, but please take a moment to like, share, subscribe. I got to do it this way: like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Let's get let's get these videos out there. And you know, this is this is interesting energy for this week. Okay, um, I will tell you though, um, I will put the timestamp in. So why don't we start our readings now?